<laughs> All right, so if I had a, a copper wire like this, how much resistance is there in the copper wire? One close to nothing. Zero. Close to nothing. We can say zero. It's not really zero, right? But if we had almost zero resistance in a copper wire, how much current would flow through it if I had a 12 volt battery? All Pretty it. close to 12. All of it. 12 divided by zero is infinity, but 12 divided by 0 0.001 is still a big number. <laughs> so if I if I have a battery here, it says it's capable of 1500 amps. <laughs> We're thinking that all 1500 amps will go through the wire. Yeah. What would happen? Not the wire. Not the wire, probably. And what if I brought a little light bulb over here that had 12 ohms? Put it in the same wire. Somebody got a light bulb? One of those light bulbs? Grab a light bulb really quickly. So this, this battery could produce 1500 amps, right? And it could melt this wire. But when I connect it, it doesn't melt the wire. Why? Because there's some resistance. Yeah, there's resistance enough to keep it from melting. Yeah, if, there, if there's 12 ohms, this light bulb, when it's on, then I have one amp flowing through it, right? What kept it from melting the wire? The light bulb did. The resistor, right? So what would happen if I was to just connect this? Yes. This is what like I've been waiting for. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see here. I can do this. What do you think will happen? Fire. Oh, look at that wire. The whole thing melted all the way down. <laughs> It's still melting, so don't grab it. Slight <laughs> temptation. <laughs> so is that? Does that have anything to do with Ohm's law? Yes. What does it have to do with Ohm's law? Uh, if there's no resistance, then there's an infinite amount of amperage. Okay. Anyway, I'd like to see that. That's why you want a fuse in your jumper wire, by the way. Right, so you don't accidentally do that. Okay.